what's up and welcome everyone to a new murders at card of manor standard video and in this video we are having a look at mono blue artifacts so this deck finally feels complete thanks to uh, mkm because we've gotten case of the filch falcon and cryptic code to finally work with now case of the filch falcon is incredible in a deck like this because when it ends the battlefield you investigate so you create an artifact in order to solve it you need to control three or more artifacts which is super easily done with nearly every card in this deck being an artifact and once it's solved, you can pay three to turn a target non-creature artifact into a 4-4 bird, uh, which can basically work with map tokens from Spy Spyglass Siren or just a clue token from the case of the Filch Falcon itself. Now, one of the upsides to being in a blue artifact deck is that you have pretty good payoff cards in the form of Disruption Protocol, which is a really solid counter spell. For blue-blue, um, you can basically counter something as long as you either pay one extra or tap an untapped artifact you control. And with so many artifacts just laying around in the stack, basically for two mana, you just counter something, which is great. Uh, we also have access to Machine Over Matter, which is uh, a two mana bounce spell that gets discounted by one if you control an artifact creature. So basically you bounce any non-land permanent to his owner's hand for one mana, which is pretty solid. Now also the new set has given us Cryptic Coat, which is another really good artifact in a deck like this and adds a lot of like grind potential when it ends the battlefield cloak top card of your library then attach cryptic code to it crypt creature gets plus one plus zero and cannot be blocked so that's really good but one of the all-stars in this deck for sure is the wedding cliff from uh, from ixalan one of my favorite cards in standard at the moment because it enchants an artifact and then turns it into a five four creature in addition to its other types and when the wedding cliff is put into the graveyard from the battlefield you discover three but this card is just so good I mean, you can attach it to like a ginger brew and make it a 5-4 unblockable. You can attach it to like a clue token, to a map token. We're also playing Coggers, <laughs> the absolute legend. Cogger Wrestler, one mana artifact when it ends the battlefield. Target creature and opponent controls gets minus two, minus zero onto end of turn. It has flash, but Coggers can even be buffed up by Swatic Glyph because it is an artifact. And this little guy has honestly been super impressive and just works really nicely in an uh, artifact focused deck like this. And speaking of artifact focus, we have a little bit of payoff value in a call the call. Limited all star, three mana, one five. Definitely not an attacker, but does represent a lot of uh, card advantage in a deck like this, where we basically play an artifact every turn. And we also have a little bit more unblockable synergy in Surge Engine, another one of my favorite cards in the meta. We can just spend our mana to activate the abilities of the Surge Engine and eventually turn it into a creature that cannot be blocked and maybe even a five four creature that cannot be blocked. So. The unblockable synergy is definitely alive in this deck, just like it is in Cookies. But you have a lot more like tempo strategies going for you and the disruption protocols and the machine over matters. And on top of that, you're basically playing a monocolor deck. So the lands shouldn't screw you over, even though sometimes they still can. But what I also like a lot about this deck is that it feels like a very budget friendly option, um, especially because it's monocolored. A lot of these cards are like uncommons and commons. Like there's a few rares in there, but not not that insane especially if you compare it to like other decks in the meta so it's a definitely i, I feel like it definitely is still a, a strong artifact deck um i would still put cookies as the stronger deck but you know for a monocolor deck this also just feels incredibly strong and obviously the sideboard gives you access to a bunch more counter spells too which can help you against control gamers um so it definitely has its own like upsides and uh i'm, I'm basically a big fan the deck felt really fun to play and pretty strong too when comparing to other uh, other decks that play similarly in the meta. So I'm a fan. Let's get into some gameplay so you can see this mono blue artifact brew in action. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. Let's get started. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards ranging from sleeves, deck boxes, play mats, binders and more. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure, and stylish. Support the channel and yourself by purchasing your Ultimate Guard products using the link in the description. Um, well, I thought we had good lands. Uh, I guess we don't. <laughs> I mean, that's just really cursed. I mean, what are the odds of this happening to you? Fuck's sake. Me every time I run two or more Miraxes. Like, this is really fucking cursed, though, but okay, whatever. Shit. This is really not the vibe. <gasps> two 
foundry is also not where I want to be at. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Shuffers, I thought you said artifacts, yeah. Sorta, kinda. Kinda. All right, man, you go ahead. Waste your cut down. I got a little engine. Soon I will be thriving. Here we go. Case. Um, I guess so. I guess so. I'm probably just going to bounce gigs. I'm gonna stick to my unblockable strategy. I do want to swing in here. You go here. Not even mad at that. It allows me to play case right now. It's pretty good. Yo, this is kind of gas though. We can animate that clue token. We have four power unblockable in the surge. We got another surge we can buff up. We can even buff up a surge and buff the surge up again. This is kind of gas. Now hold on. Okay, I'm just going to animate this clue. I'm gonna go here. Curious to see if a call because is gonna be a meme or a champ. This felt gas though. <laughs> that felt pretty good. Okay. You're a believer. All right. Well, we got it right here. So let's see if that's gonna work. <laughs> the wrestler, such a goofy little guy. Coggers. Yeah. <laughs> Silly. Yeah, a couple call handed me the grimace shake. Almost murdered me. It's true, it's true. Okay, well, there goes the deep cavern bat. Probably taking out our uh, goofy little Pakal. I'm sure. Oh, a little engine instead. Interesting. You know, at least the islands are pretty. <laughs> yeah. Surely, like, you have knowledge of, like, Kago being in here. What are you doing? Is this bait? But, like, what's the vibe? I was like magical, and it's fun hanging out with friends. It's my only uh, socialization that I get every other couple of months. <laughs> so, you know, are you actually like tied binding a, a little wrestler? You're crazy. Damn. No comment. I mean, is this where we like set up coat or do we set up a call? All right, well, for the sake of trying out and seeing whether a call call is good, let's play this card out.
that seemed incorrect. I mean, <laughs> you know, it still does. Like, I'm down to still trade. I mean, I was thinking like we might not even ever see like cogwork value, so we might as well take it. And they kind of like took the bite. So. You know what? A good thing about a call per call is it does have a really high toughness. Oh, we have the Cogward Wrestler. That's really good. Okay, so let's set, put some artifacts in place, shall we? Probably going to give ourselves a little cryptic coat. All right, good shit. And we should get another trigger because we have the Wrestler with Haze. All right, I guess I'll grab the Foundry. <laughs> so like the fucking cogwork wrestler is like worth playing so that chat screams coggers the entire time like for some reason that's like the funniest shit to me i don't know it's just the funniest thing oh my god the double tishana <laughs> Bro, you didn't even time that right. I mean, what a what a gamer! Like they, they you didn't even time it right. <laughs> Cogwork wrestler, the ultimate MVP of this game. Holy shit, dude! I got no words. I guess I'll hold a protocol. <laughs> it's simply too strong. Like opponent starts acting up. That's crazy. Let's make sure this goes right, okay? There you go. Yo, Pakal kind of putting in the work right now. I won't lie. Pakal kind of putting in the work. Now, hold on. Kind of. I mean, there's something incredibly humbling about losing the, the, the Cogward wrestler. I won't lie. Something humbling about it. But, um... Plus four cards? Nah, it's true. Like, that's a lot of card advantage. A couple calls of beasts to never really get constant draw in a deck like this? I mean, I'm convinced here. I'll go with third copy for sure. Uh, I mean, you're gonna steal my shit anyway, so... I guess I'll counter it. Would a Merrick suit get into triggers on the opponent's turn? Oh, that's pretty gas. I didn't even consider that. And this is like Demir mid range. Like, this is like a legitimate tier one deck. Not that the opponent really piloted it like tier one, but that was kind of kind of crazy. Like, that was good. Damn. That was really good. Oh lord, slow Gurk. That's gonna be something. I mean, we have counter spells. Good counters. Oh. Aldrazi. <laughs> oh god. I mean, we're gonna get Thunder Junction, so uh, enemies, villains of the multiverse. Who knows? Aldrazi's do be known to be, uh, you know, the ba bad guys. Won't roll it out. We just gotta be as aggressive as we can get, gamers. I was hoping for a buff there, but I'll put a case in play too, so we can activate that. 
boggles. Oh, I tried them. Well, that's not really like boggles, but you have like a Simic Ivy deck that could do a thing or two. Get the sh the fuck out of here, slow gurk. <laughs> Boo! Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, well, I would like to get that, but now that it's revealed, it's like you gotta take away the, the power of it, you know? Model blue cookies? This is model blue artifacts. But, um, yeah. Slime friendly. I don't know, this stream is friendly to any deck that does not want to go over two hours of gameplay. <laughs> That, that's my thing, like, I, you know. You that's it. <laughs> Alright, well, there we go. We got Slogurg. Love to see it. Even in these infinite loops, I stand my ground. I mean, as you should, you know. Go off, have a blast. <laughs> it's just for me, like, you know, I respect it, but it's not for me. I respect it, but it's not it's not not me. I mean hearses help a lot, yeah. Just being fast in general can do a lot too. Goofy little ginger brute, let's go. Yeah, tie binders. Actually, I should probably have tie binders in the sideboard in here, huh? Don't know why I just completely not thought of that. So got lantern doobie standard legal people for gore. True. Might just go a bit more extreme with that, actually. Tie binders and um soul guide. Perhaps I pierce this? I mean, if you feel confident enough to slam a cut down on that, I'll feel confident enough to counter it. I don't know what else I would counter from um, three from there that with peers. Okay, that's fine. A call, a call. Be a little, a little interaction heavy here. Mm, not this guy. I can bounce it though. And then counter it. Okay, where's the call call value at? Not like this. <laughs> yeah. I mean that whole died the whole deck dies with rotation like Kopena and Kamigawa is basically the entire deck like people um figured this one out a little bit too late you know what I mean jeez I mean I'm not mad but like what where are the creatures at we just have only interaction fucking hell still no Artifacts in my blue white blue, or my blue artifact deck. Um, unsure about the vibes. If 
Balance the case to trigger a call, but that seems a little desperate. I mean, maybe I am desperate. I don't know. Am I that desperate, though? I guess. Uh, maybe. Okay, I definitely am. We're just drawing lands. Fuck. Okay. Shit. Lacking pressure. Mm, that's not good. So it's gonna ramp up to death, aren't they now? We're a bit too slow, I'm afraid. At least we have both cases solved now, but that's... I'm not gonna get it done. Well, I don't really see any value in balancing the Aftermath Analyst because they're just going to do it anyways. So, yeah, it's like, it's just, they could do it, just do it immediately. Like, if I bounce it, they'll make sure that they have two green available and they would have done it this turn anyway. Like, there's no use in bouncing. Uh... There's not... So this could go to 5, so that's 9, 13, 14. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. Mm, I'm probably better off playing Schooner. And holding machine yeah it's probably just coat I guess I mean I think it's just win or lose this game pray they don't go off yep I guess so <laughs> that's what we gotta do this is what we gotta do I mean, if I don't take this now, I will lose my machine over matter, though. It's kind of the problem. Um... I mean, the thing is, they could still put a blocker in play, and I could want to... I might want to bounce that next turn, so I think I let this happen. So... The bounce could be relevant as like an, from an attacking point of view. Oh, that puts him to six. Oh my god. Okay. 
Even the map saves doesn't save us now. Yeah, it's been a lot of life game, but it's not lost yet. Ooh, okay. Is that a game changer? Hit! Fuck! Every... These explorers have been so fucking mean to me. Ugh. It's so sad. Like, you guys are evil little bitches. Every time, like every every damn time. Anyway, I guess we should be grateful we got to land. <laughs> I mean, I am in a way, but also not. I don't know. We still got there. Every like yesterday too, when we played cookies, every explore for lethal whiffed. I mean, nothing that was lethal, but you know. Well, I guess that worked out. Ginger Brute. At least Ginger Brute and Glyph together are also really good. I mean, there's not really anything scary that they could do on two. It gets scary on like three. But. I guess it could technically be like the. Um, Druid. Okay, Rookie, I'll get rid of that. Sure. I don't know what that would be doing in that deck. Anyway. There we go. This deck is almost like budget cookies. <laughs> This is like super budget friendly, like best budget deck. A yo, gas, yo. Technically, yo, yo, yo. We could take out Glissa with two cargos. <laughs> I don't know if we should, but we could. Ayo, ayo, Kagos, let's do we like Kagos with the carry? Hold on. It's funny. No, that it is. Psychological warfare. Two Kagos. And it also activates our case, so I guess it's kind of fine. <laughs> ayo, ayo. Kagos. That's sick. That's really sick. Mentally devastated. Yeah. Who wins one glizzy or two coggy boys? Yeah. I'd be demoralized if someone did. <laughs> I would have given up. If someone did that to me, like that'd be it for me, you know? I'd be uh I'd be I'd be in the trenches. I mean I doubt they would trade, but you don't know. Tron player, two months. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate you so much. Yo, we're kind of doing it. The cargos? Wait, hold up. Does Simic Cookies need cargo? <laughs> surely not. No, no, no. Surely not. Surely not. Okay. Yeah, Shelly can save you, bestie. We got a ginger brute. They're cute. Nah, it's true. It's true. Cargo is like the ultimate MVP. I think that's a snap key. <laughs> Uh huh. She's got jokes. Coggers. Okay, we're good. The new Boris Angel, the White Black Angel from Elrond's Epiphany era. What do you mean, White Black Angel from Elrond's Epiphany era? Elrond's Epiphany isn't around anymore. If that's any help. I think I gotta hold a protocol here. Five bunny summon? Alright, let's do it. 
Solheim Angels. They slapped. It's awkward with disruption protocol, but like I have to respect what they're doing, right? Kind of just gotta take on like a little bit of a tempo point standpoint here. The disguise bird. Um. The disguise bird is okay. So this would get sharp eyed rookie buff. Uh, I'm probably just gonna stop that with type either. The um. Um. Wait, can I res do, uh, so when it ends battlefield, may pay green. I can respond to them paying the green. Gizzy, thank you so much for the two months. Appreciate you. Can I not? Because I still have to like choose. I don't know. I think I can. Chat's quiet. Pretty sure I can still do that. Okay, I was about to say, like, I'm pretty sure it's another, like, ability trigger to. Yep, absolutely taking that out. Thank you for that one. Uh, I got the disruption protocol. I want to hold up this card though. I also feel like I gotta make some moves. Let's try this. I can always like still bounce something and then counter it again, but... Okay, well that makes things complicated. Yeah, exactly. I can flash the wrestler and they might not expect it. What's this going to be like for life? Destroy case or destroy boat? Case. Okay. Exile my graveyard instead of gaining life. All right. I'm cool with that. All right, coggers. Here we go. <laughs> Yay. Well, this card's kind of cracked, I guess. Holy shit. We believe. In coggers we trust. Nobody respects it in the construct standard, you know. All right, holding up protocols. Yo, like <laughs> coggers is cracked. Okay, I don't want to fuck around with the bat, ideally. Like, screw that bat. Just messes me up anyway. <laughs> Silly. I love the hype he gets. Like, it's so true. That's exactly what Cogwork Wrestler deserves, you know? Alright, so we'll just be bouncing Preacher. And then we can counter it. Get out of here. Mm. Let's see. Kind of not how I want to be vibing right now. No, nah, I got one bow already. Hmm. Sweet protocol. There you go. Lens for days. It's true. You don't get the bad hype. Oof, my friend, there is a lot of 
that is kind of just insane oh hey Libby, what's up that, that's kind of just like insane for many ways um it's there's actually so many ways that that's insane and it's like hard to figure out where to even start i mean from being a flyer with lifelink for two mana from it stealing a card from your hand from it revealing your whole hand it's like the value in that little bat is ridiculous it's it's just actually crazy lifelink exile thoughts he's flying yeah reveal your whole hand whole strategy revealed it's a little different I summoned nah, I sure did well let me put another pair more banger in there for you I sure did what do we have bot oh, that's like not I'm putting it in a queue the classic hey why is it not putting in a queue hello Spotify being on one here we go um all right it's better be good ginger brew it's gotta be it's gotta be it's not like it's gonna it's gotta okay so this is gonna come down to whether our explorer actually no it doesn't because opponent still has life gain no They still have they still have a clue to draw a card. Maybe they don't see it, but they have it. I I mean I think they do, but you don't know. Yeah, they can draw. Okay, man. All right. Sure. You just decided to lose the game. That's fine. Ain't no way. <laughs> well, bait actor vibes. Yeah, kind of true. All right. I have returned. You know, doesn't look awful. Hate that we're on the draw, though. Boy, that sucks. Okay. Okay, now we're drawing too many lands. Um. You kind of lose to the bat, I'm afraid. Okay. <laughs> Jinx the fuck out of that. Damn. Well, that's definitely not where you want to be at. Holy fuck, dude. Well, this is definitely not good. Hmm. I think the fact they missed our land drop was um, really good. There's some RNG uh, <laughs> happening there. Holy shit, that was good. Coggers. Hoogies. Hand looks kind of gas. Good stuff. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm not going to play him out, though. He's going to pass. Dex ruined for minus one, yeah. Oh, don't do that. Shit. That's a rough one.
Not my fucking boat. I was looking forward to that. Alright, I guess we'll play Coggers. Yo, looking at a buffed up bestie soon, I think. Glyph on Coggers. I mean, it's like the suggestive duress. <laughs> the suggestive duress. Oh, word. That's good. I think I just glyphed this boy. We're just swinging in. Cogger solo matchup. I like the the Japanese one, the um, the one from the Mystical Archive. That's my favorite. Pretty sure it was the Mystical Archive. The old slabs. Terra Sunder. Oh my God. All right. Well, God. Damn, bestie. Do I just set up a call per call? I mean, I would like to have the pressure of the cryptic code, though. Look at these lands. Once again, we're getting fucked over by those. I'm just gonna go, I think. Cliff's honestly such a cool card, right? Like, it's perfect. Okay, boo, bat. <laughs> yeah. It's true, it's true. I'm a huge fan. Alright, we'll set up the uh, a call per call. In co coat, we believe. That's honestly the best card in standard. It, it's definitely up there. Yeah. Oh my god. Bless that larcenist. Holy shit. Oh my god. And do we have to sacrifice coggers here? I feel like we have to. So we could play bow. Oh my god. And trigger a call. Coggers makes the ultimate sacrifice. Respect. Okay, that feels a, feels a lot like a cut down. Bruh, okay, whatever. So yeah, <laughs> salute, king. Served as well, the hero we deserve. Nah, it's true. Skeletina. Skeletina's art is incredible. That, like I said, it feels a lot like something it was kill swipe okay bestie mm. fuck shelly has returned not you not you right now evil witch shouldred Damn, I was really thinking it would have maybe attacked us with Shelly, but I guess not. These goats are not going to be able to clutch it, I'm afraid, you guys. Besage you? They're playing this hard. Like, whereas, like, you know, Cookies... Cookies has a lot of resilience. This deck just gets stomped by, like, any artifact removal. Like, that's bad. Don't tap like that, stupid thing. Oh, I need to manually tap? All right. It's not great, dude. Engine, I guess. We might just lose to Shelly. It's not great. Oh, this is a Larcenist, but that doesn't do shit. I guess I could stop. All right, fuck it. Let's ball. 
One time. Don't. You surely you don't have something else again. <sighs> Removal can't stop, won't stop, dude. Holy shit. But that's... Oh, fuck's sake. Mm. This is not good, man. It's not good. I need to answer Shelly. I need to answer Shelly. Why does Shelly have to be like this? Uh, that's what I'm asking. Case. At least stops bat. Machine bounces Shelly, but... Maybe it's machine, though. I mean, this is never happening again. We're never getting this little aura. Never getting that again. Stupid fucking shoulder of the apocalypse. Bouncing Shelly for a turn. I don't know. It's gonna help. Oh fuck's sake! Oh my god. <laughs> Went from worse to worser. <laughs> oh brother. Okay. Um. Yeah, this true trenches. Uh, okay, we're gonna still bounce Shelly. Not what I'm looking for. Okay, but we're working with an unblockable strategy here now. All right, all right. We're hitting him for eight. But then they gain two and a heal up from the bat. But we also have a good attack in our future. I don't know. It's hard. Hmm. You know, you see Teal Swap motherfuckers hiding somewhere. And nah, it's true. Like, it's true. It's true. Yeah, they gain two, but they gain one extra from the bat as well, which is where the problem was. Because that puts him to seven. Okay. Well, we should be good then. I thought they had more... I thought they had another draw. But I'm bad at math. True, thank you so much for the prime. Because that's just lethal. I love being horrible at math and it working out for me. Ayo. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess so. Don't know how we managed to do that, but somehow like Hoggers was involved, I'm sure.